Hello again, this is Jasmina. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of out of Gua. It's a bit weird, um, the phrase itself, but it has some very profound effects. It is based on the 64 hexagram ring of the Lo Pan and is actually quite difficult to understand how it's created. However, once you understand how it's created, it is actually very easy to apply. So if you take 360 divided by 64, you get this number, 5.625. And this is how wide in degrees each one of these sectors are. And each one of these sectors, in addition to having a hexagram, it also has three qua numbers associated with it. And these are the out of Gua Kwan numbers. And what these do, these three Kwan numbers do, is that any external features will have the least effect, sometimes no effect at all, on the people with one of those three Kwan numbers that's associated with these sectors. So this is a good way to mitigate Sha Chi. And it works best, of course, if you have people with the same Quan number living in that location or who happen to have another Quan number that is also out of Qua. And the most times it is used to mitigate external Sha Chi. Now, this is the actual chart. I can't reproduce it at a, a level where you can actually read it, but I have a close up here. And you can find the full diagram in this book, Xuan Kong Da Gua, Not Exactly for Dummies by Hong Hing Chong. Now, the not exactly for dummies is actually quite accurate. Uh, there's a lot of detail in there that maybe you don't get a lot out of, but it's the charts you need to worry about. So this is what a close-up of that ring looks like. So you have the, you have the uh, hexagram and they have some associated numbers with it, we'll, which will come into play later. But these three numbers are the out of Gua numbers. So if you have an external Sha Chi, let's say your neighbor's roof is pointing right into your main door, and that's what's located here. You can't really plant a tree here because that also blocks good Chi. So then what do you do? Well, if you're lucky enough to have the, everybody living in the house as either Kwan number four, eight, or nine, then you don't have to worry about the, the uh, Sha Chi at all. Now, I do talk about Sha Chi and, and how to recognize it in another video, but you need to know that this Sha Chi by itself isn't negative. It only becomes negative if in this sector of your house, you either have negative natal stars or negative annual stars. And by negative, I mean untimely. Now, the annual stars will come around. So at some point, yes, this could become potentially dangerous. But so long as you don't have a natal, bad natal star there, it's not continuously a problem. If this is the condition, in general, you would have to do regular mitigation, especially when the bad annual stars come in. But we, if you happen to have everybody in the house with these three qua numbers, you're okay. You get very little negative effect. However, you also can get very little positive effect from, let's say, a mountain or a water feature that's just in that small sector. So that, that is the trade-off. It, it blocks you from both good and bad energy. Now I'm gonna give another example, and this one's important. If let's say we have a, a couple, and they have a quant number one and four as their quant numbers, and we find out by doing the analysis that we need to place water in the north to activate a special formation in their flying star chart. Well, if we look at every sector here, they either have a one or a four. 
So we can't just place a small water feature here or here or anywhere and have it affect um, that have that activation of that special formation affect both people. So that's a problem, but it's actually quite easy to fix. Instead of having a small water feature, we have a larger one that spans the two areas where each one will receive chi from this water feature. So if you're a qua number one, it goes through this path. If you're qua number four, it'll go through this path. So you, both of you will receive it. Now, this is something I look at when I'm analyzing your charts. If, if we have to add water, I want to make sure that you can actually receive the energy from that water feature. So I look at your facing direction of your house, as well as the facing direction and even the location of your main door. And I check that out to avoid um, the, the situation where, where there's negative chi coming in and um, we want to make sure that it is out of wall with the main residence. Unfortunately, sometimes it can affect some people in your house. And then, of course, this is the time to do chi mitigation. And I do have monthly videos discussing where and when to do the mitigation. And that mitigation lasts between 6 to 12 months. So you just have to keep it up. That's all. Now, there are times when you do not want to be out of gua. If the facing direction of your house or your main door, I check it to see whether or not you receive good chi. Because if you are out of gua with your house's facing direction and your house's main door facing direction, then you're not going to receive the good chi. And so we can check to see that you are not out of gua. But even if you are, we also look at another thing. And what we do is we personalize the primary adults, and those are the people who are the responsible people, that is the parents. And if you have an older parent who's living with you, it's not the older parent, it's the breadwinners. You know, that's why I'm talking about the primary adults. We look at their bots and they can we convert them to hexagrams and we compare them to the house's hexagram. And uh, we look for linkages. They can be the same number, uh, combo 10, her 2, combo 5 or 15, and a couple other strongly affiliated numbers. And we want to make sure that at least there's some linkage there. And even if you do happen to be out of Gua, as long as you have linkages here, it's okay. So you can think about this as, you know, if you're trying to get some information through your cell phone, you can do it through your... Um, data on your cell phone or you can connect to Wi-Fi. So you can think of this as maybe the direct data and this one is the Wi-Fi. You can still get what you need. It's just a matter of how you do it. Now there are tables in this book uh, that I just talked about that will tell you how to take your BATSA once you found it and convert it to hexagrams. Of course I do all of this for you. You don't have to do any of this. If you do an analysis with me, but I'm giving you this information so that maybe you can check a few things here and there and, you know, see whether or not you really have something to worry about. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my website where I have extra uh, information. And uh, please subscribe to my channel because I have uh, regular videos on how to mitigate shachi and that kind of stuff. Thank you again for watching.